As many of you know, RuneScape accounts are commonly hacked. The gold is stolen and sold off, but the accounts are also sold cheaply to bot farm owners who take the account and depending on its stats, run it at a high level boss or set up a basic money maker. Today, we're gonna be looking to people who've been hacked and then their account was banned and then they actually were able to recover their account and we're gonna see what they found when they logged back in. We'll be able to tell exactly how far the bot got before it was banned as well as whatever botting method it was doing or location it was using. Make sure to subscribe if you're enjoying the videos and let's get into the first one which is absolutely insane so this guy quit the game and came back a year later and he tried to log on to his gargoyles alt account of course it received a macroing major ban which means bot it. he appealed and got the account back and found it had over 20,000 zolra kill count and went from like high 80s magic and range to over 20 million xp in both we can also see the gear this bot owner uses for zolra unfortunately though all these bots do mule so most people who recover their account don't see much gold in their bank but those 20,000 zolra kills at 133k average GP drop are worth about 2.6 billion GP for this bot. This guy isn't alone though. I heard from over 20 other people that their account was hacked and turned into a Zolra bot. Many of them logged back in after recovering the accounts and found that they had Zolra pets. Either the hackers or botters literally changed this guy's username to free account. That's brutal. This guy had zero Zolra KC when he was hacked. He recovered the banned account and found 53 mil GP in the bank. His account had done over 12,000 Zolra kills and his range, hit points, and mage were all trained up to 99. It gets even crazier, but now a quick word from the sponsor of today's video. Thanks to ExpressVPN for sponsoring today's video. A VPN service is super helpful for the RuneScape community these days for a variety of reasons. First, especially in the gaming community, it's important to protect yourself from DDoS attacks. ExpressVPN masks your IP address, keeping you safe from malicious attacks. Second, if you ever use public Wi-Fi, and most people do at some point, your data privacy could be at risk. ExpressVPN encrypts that data so that no one else can see your sensitive information. Finally, if you want to access content in different countries on many streaming services like Netflix, all you have to do is select that country and connect to the server. Some shows I've checked out that aren't available in the US are Doctor Who and Star Trek Discovery. So go to expressvpn.com slash to find out how you can get three months for free. The link is in the description. So by collecting people's stories about them getting hacked in the account botting on, you can actually discover different high level botting methods. For example, this guy was hacked and perm banned for botting and when he logged back in, he noticed this. Over 3,000 demonic gorilla kills. He said he had about 400 before he was hacked. This is pretty definitive proof that there are demonic gorilla bots. The bot farm would have to use hacked accounts because it's not worth it to train up an account just to do Monkey Madness 2 and then get banned. But that guy wasn't the only one that experienced this. This is pretty crazy. This guy only took an eight day break and this was super recently. When he tried to log in, the account was already logged in. He eventually got control of it and it was at demonic gorillas. Just eight days before, he had 400 demonic gorilla kills with three zenites. Eight days later, he was at 2,800 with 13 Zenites. Now, this was just in the last week, so I'm guessing there are a bunch of demonic gorilla bots out there right now. But honestly, I'd never checked there for bots before. Remember, it would be super hard to spot these guys as bots, especially because they'd have really random stats and probably pretty random gear. This next guy gave his friend his account and quit the game. When obviously he eventually came back to the game, he saw that account online, but his friend said he wasn't online. So he recovered the account and it wasn't banned. The stats went from 75 to 99 range with 23 million range XP. It was a very classic revenant bot or gold farmer setup. Since the account wasn't banned, I wonder if it was actually a gold farmer that bought the account and ran it at revenants for so long because it also got 53,000 revenant kills. I really hope it was a gold farmer and not a bot because that's a really successful bot. Recently, there's been some buzz about Barrow's bots or gold farmers being insanely high on the high scores. As in 14 in the top 25 on the high scores do Barrow's every day for 16 hours for two weeks straight. This guy had a chinchampa PKing ult account with low 60s range and magic. He completely forgot about it and one day looked it up to see its stats and noticed it had about 4,500 Barrows kill count. He eventually recovered the account which had been banned and logged in at Barrows with 90 range and 91 magic as well as 5 mil in the bank. Those 4,500 Barrows kill count are worth roughly 400 million GP. But also in the collection log he noticed a lot of long bone and giant key drops. So he thinks the account was botting at hill giants to get high enough stats for Barrows. Lots Lots of players have been spotting Barrow's bots all over the place, so make sure to keep an eye out for them and report them when you see them. Here's another bot farm I wasn't really aware of, although it's probably pretty common. Classic story, this guy's account was hacked, he saw it online 24-7 for two weeks, then it was banned. He recovers it and its range level is higher and it's wearing the most budget range setup of all time. He checks the bank and it has loot from over 1,000 blue dragons in it. I guess at least he got something after he was hacked. Similar story with another guy. He quit, came back to the game, and recovered his banned main account. 
account. It had over 26 million range XP in Taverly in range gear with placeholders for Blue Dragon loot. If that account got 20 million range XP from Blue Dragons, that's 50,000 botted Blue Dragon kills. This one is kind of weird. This guy was hacked and he recovered the account a while later. It wasn't banned, which is important, but it had gone from 94 melees to 99 with over 30 million XP in each melee stat with 38 million hit points XP. It was wearing a standard melee bot outfit at Wyvern's granite plate body, dragon plate legs, and the collection log showed over 35,000 Wyvern kills, getting three draconic visage drops. But since the account wasn't banned and had so much progress, I'm guessing a gold farmer bought it and played on it. I don't think a standard Wyvern's bot could do that, but on the other hand, another guy was hacked and banned. When he got control of the account, it was wearing the same gear as the first guy, granite body, dragon plate legs, and had over 11,000 Wyvern kills, and that guy was banned for bot. So I guess the jury is still out if the first account was botted, but hopefully not. Pretty crazy though that the first guy logs in and just gets a free 150 million combat XP. Other than Zulra, the most popular story I heard was getting hacked and turned into a green dragon bot. Lots of lower mid-level players accounts have perfect stats for green dragons and it seems like botters mule less there as almost everyone who is hacked and botted on at the dragons recovered their account to find loot from 500 to 1000 dragons. Their melee stats of course change some usually gaining between 5 to 10 attack and strength levels but it seems like these accounts are banned much faster than the higher level bots. I'm I'm guessing the ban rate is lower for all the hacked accounts though since real players spend a lot of time doing quests leveling up all the stats so each account looks different from the other bots. I'd be pretty pissed if I logged back in looking like a scruffy bot. These examples aren't just limited to PVMing, there are tons of scaling examples. This guy recovered his account, logged back in after 6 years and found out he had 85 hunter and 1000 red chinchampas. The account was super low level so honestly he probably gained a lot from that. Another guy's account seems to have not muled much at all when he recovered it. He found 79 hunter and over 2000 red chins in the bank. These guys might have even made money from being hacked. There are plenty more examples. This guy logs in to find out he has 83 Hunter. Another example though, this guy recovers his account and finds out he has 99 fire making and 1000 winter Todd kill count. He also got 80 fletching. I love being able to see behind the scenes of what these bots do. Here's a good example. Again, a guy is hacked and banned for botting, recovers the account to find this gear. And in his grand exchange history, lots of adamant bars sold. The account was using blessed dragon hide and had trained range from 68 to 88. So he thinks it was turned into an Aviancy's bot in the God Wars dungeon. Now the same thing happened to this guy. His range was trained from 98 to 99, but he found a 16 mil cash stack with a ton of adamant bars and a mithril hook. So I think it's safe to say they were botting Aviancy's. He said the bots were using Trollheim teleport to get to God Wars, and from the mage XP gain, he could calculate how many trips they did, which he calculated to be roughly 4,500 trips, although they might have been alking as well, so who knows. Some RuneScape 3 players have had something pretty strange happen to them too. Their account is banned for botting and they recover their account and play RuneScape 3 normally. Eventually, they go to try out Old School and find out they aren't on Tutorial Island. They thought the ban was false positive on RuneScape 3, but then they realize it was actually Old School that this happened on. For example, this guy logged into Castle Wars with 80 woodcutting when he was about to do Tutorial Island. Now, another guy reached out, said he recovered his account and found a bunch of cooking supplies on the account. I heard about this bot before actually, but in the Warriors Guild, you can buy these three items super cheaply and they're worth a lot on the Grand Exchange. His account was literally turned into a food buying bot because he had the requirements to get into the warrior guild. Shark fishing bots seem to be another popular thing people find when they recover their accounts. This guy found 92 fishing and 250,000 minnows on him, which is roughly 8,000 raw sharks. Another one found the heron pet and 400 raw sharks, and a third guy found the heron pet and 600 raw sharks. This stuff is absolutely ridiculous. You get hacked and find a pet and like level 90 fishing. I was also sent similar things about motherload mine bots. This guy got 91 mining on his peer from being hacked. Now this guy's account got turned into a plank making bot because he kept seeing it on PVP worlds and you can check the grand exchange history. A lot of people also found they'd been turned into cannonball making bots. This guy went from 1 to 72 smithing, which he calculated must mean the bot made 136,000 cannonballs. He also found a mill and supplies in the bank. And I think this last one was turned into a blast furnace bot. Since in its grand exchange history, it bought ore and came back with steel bars, as well as 83 smithing. You gotta remember though, these guys did lose whatever was in their bank when they were hacked. But that's some pretty decent XP. 
These are just examples from people who reached out to me and had screenshots. When I made the YouTube post asking for submissions, I got over 400 emails and 200 Twitter DMs with similar stories to these. Think of how many accounts must be hacked and used to bot, and how many players look real because their account was hacked, but in reality are robots. Let me know in the comments if this happened to you and what you think was botted. Now we're approaching a quarter of a million subscribers, so make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and leave a like on this video. And remember, if you have anything interesting you think should be in the next video, or just wanna say something wholesome, send it to sirpuggertipoff at gmail.com or DM me on Twitter.